Hey guys, this is Theta again. I wanted to put out a tutorial because a lot of people have trouble starting off with editing models inside of Smash Modding. And so this is a very simple uh, just run through of what I do to get a model edited and then put back inside Brawlbox. So there's a few steps, there's a few things that you need. Um, all the descriptions and settings that I'm going to go over are going to be in the description. Um, but besides that, it's pretty straightforward. So for this example, we're going to be taking Charizard and adding a hat to him. And so the thing with the hat is, is that the hat isn't just going to be floating in the model, it's going to be on his head, following however he goes, everything you need. Um, and then that's going to be put back inside a brawl box and the model's going to be updated. So to begin, you're going to need the character you're working with. In this case, I'm working with Charizard. So I've just put a folder on the uh, desktop here and I've got his file right here. So if I want to go ahead and edit that file, obviously you click it and it'll open up in brawl box. Um, I'm using Brawlbox version 077, which is the most stable one to use as of late. Uh, you can use 078, but it's a lot less stable, so I'd recommend using 0 0.77. So, once you're inside of here, you're going to want two things. You're going to need the model and the textures that it has. So, to export the model, you just expand this red file here until you find the model. Um, then you're going to want to right-click and export that. And you always want to export as a .dae because it's what uh, 3ds Max uses, which is the program we're going to be using to edit all of this. So I'm going to put him inside of the folder that we just inside of, and then I've got that. After that, you need all the textures. So these are all the textures that his body uses. To export all of them one at a time would be kind of slow. So to do it easily, we're just going to do export all on right clicking on this red file here that says texture data. And if we do that, we can choose the folder here. Lizard on edit again. And then it's going to say uh, your file type, you just need a PNG. So export all.png, and now we've got all of our textures here. So the reason we export all of the textures is because when we edit the model, if the textures aren't inside of the folder that the model's inside of, it won't load them. Um, so this is just kind of for ease of access and being able to understand what you're looking at easier. You can look at the model without the textures, but in this case, we're going to be using them. So I'm going to open this up with 3ds Max. Normally it would load up, um, but I've already got it running here. So I'm going to do File, Import, and then on the desktop here, I'm going to open up PokeLizardon00. So now these are the settings that I've got. Um, I have a picture of these if you need them. The only really important things here is to make sure that both of these are checked. Convert as dummy is there. Those are all default. Um, and then the important thing here is where this scale factor says right here, you always want it to be 1.0. So adjust this to whatever it needs to be, usually it's centimeters or inches. So adjust that to whatever it needs to be to be 1.0. In this case, I'm using centimeters. So once you click that, we're going to get an imported model with Charizard. And we can see it now. So if you click down here inside 3ds Max, it will make the little window here the full screen window, um, which is good. Um, and also, if you're clicking a model and you don't want this big box to show up, just hit J. It'll turn off the bounding box. So now we've got. Um, our model here and we're going to want to add a hat to him and so whenever you're editing any type of model the easy way that I would go ahead and make sure that you're safe with it is right clicking it and doing clone which will make a copy of it um, but in this case we're not going to be editing his base model we're just going to be adding a hat on as an example so we don't need to do anything with this um, but we don't actually need these extra polygons either so I'm just going to hide these because it's his eyes over here his, bi his base body model is only two things his body itself and then the eyes I like to use Charizard because he's a very simple model, so editing him is pretty straightforward. Um, so now, this model isn't going to be covering modeling or texturing, so I'm just going to do a really quick model of a hat. Um, so let's take a cylinder, do that, um, hit F4 to see my isoline display. Or, there we go. Um, and then all I'm basically going to do is make a little top hat because it's a very really simple shape to make. So do that, do edit poly here, and then I'm going to select this uh, shape right here, do an inset, Oop, that was weird. Sometimes you don't click here, it will actually zoom in the viewport, so do inset, about there is fine, and then I'm going to do extrude, and just like that we've got a top hat, very cool. So um, I'm going to smooth this out, and now we've got our top hat. So. Um, Whenever you're working with models inside of 3DS, it's also important to make sure that they have at least one texture. Otherwise, the texture maps for them won't be saved. 
Um, we're not going to be covering texture mapping um, or skinning inside of this tutorial. This is just basic how to get in and out of 3ds Max back into Brawlbox. So I'm just going to use Charizard's material by hitting M to open up the material palette here. Um, clicking this little eyedropper to get his body material here and then I'm going to click the hat and hit this button to put that material on it. So now I've just got his body mat uh, material onto his hat. Um, and now I want to position this. Pretty simple. I'm just going to want to move this over to zero. Get that on his head by about... That's fine. And then we're going to make it smaller so it fits him. And then I'm going to tilt it as well. And then we've got a very simple Charizard hat. Um, now I'm going to skin this. Um, I'm going to make a skinning tutorial very shortly, but for now I'm just going to, since it's only his head, I really only need to add the head. Um, so I'm going to add that by going ahead and doing skin, edit envelopes, selecting all of them, and then just uh, hitting head and then uh, hitting one on here. This weight tool lets you weigh things. You can open it up by right clicking and dragging it here. Um, so now that I've done that, this is skinned to move with his head bone, um, which means that it's good, it's skinned, um, and it's in position, it's everything that we need. Um, so when you're exporting, you only ever need to export the models that you're editing from the base model and the bones so that it knows how it's animated. So in this case, I don't even actually need to export the Charizard model because all I'm really editing is that hat. I'm not editing his body. So now I've got the hat, it's skinned, and I've got my bones. I'm going to click the top end bone here with the control button to select both of these. And then I'm going to right click the top end bone and do select child nodes. Now I've selected all of the bones and the hat, and then we're going to do file, export, uh, export, please. oh my god. Um, I don't know why it's doing that. File, export, there we go, export selected. And export selected means you're only exporting the things that you select. It's uh, not mandatory, but it's just the way I like to do it, so I don't export all of these extra models. Um, so again, we need to export as a DAE, so we can import it in Brawlbox, and I'm just going to name it... Uh, Zard hat. And now again these are the settings here. I've put a picture of this in the description um, but we want to make sure the scale factor is one, the most important thing, and it's set to inches. The um, rest of the things usually default will take care of it for you um, and we can hit OK. And so if you get this setting here um, usually you don't have to worry about it. If you look in your model afterward and it's messed up then you need to redo this skinning but I'll cover that in the skinning tutorial. So most likely not going to be a problem here but we've got our hat. So now I'm going to be back inside of the Charizard model here and I need to import that hat model. And so there's import settings for that too. Normally uh, many people will hit replace but if you hit replace it'll actually replace his entire model which we don't want to do. We're just adding this hat to his model which is already existing. So instead of replace I'm going to go down to reimport meshes which is a very cool option that Blackjack's added recently. Um, I believe it was 4077, I'm not sure though. So I'm going to hit reimport meshes here and I'm going to go to desktop, hit Zard hat, and then these are the settings that we need here. Um, uh, these are all fine, I'm missing a, a picture of this too, but the only thing you're ever gonna need to change is this right here, um, and sometimes settings for this, but we don't gotta worry about that right now. Um, all you really need to pay attention to is this setting here. If you're importing a character, make sure this is set to character, and if you're importing a model for a stage, make sure it's set to stage. Um, that will make sure that the, the shaders have the proper flags and all that. So I'm gonna hit okay, and now that's just going to add the hat to his uh, skeleton. And now we've got the hat over here. Very good. Everything seems to check out fine. I don't need any textures for it because it's just using um, the texture from his body. Um, and so the cool thing is, is with re-import meshes, if you have a material that's being used by the hat, say the body tech, uh, material for this example, it's going to reuse that inside of here. So if I look at his materials, um, it's got a body one, uh, M1, but they're named the same thing. Um, when I when you re-import meshes, um, sometimes there's an option that says remap materials. I like to keep it off, but if it's on, it won't make these extras. Um, but even if it's an extra, if you're just doing simple modeling, it doesn't really matter, honestly. Um, so, either way, I've got my hat here. Very good. I'm just reading it so it's not redundant. Was well, some other name there, and then we're good. I've got my file here, and we can save it. Um, Whenever you're editing a model for a character, I like to edit the .pcs file instead of the .pack because the one that's loaded when you start the game is the .pcs, it's not the pack file. So all you ever need to really edit is the PCS, but when you release your mods, you should save it as both. Um, so now I've got my file here, I'm going to go to WinImage, 
uh, open up my SD card here. We're going file SD, and then I'm going to find where my files are. PF Fighter, and then Pokey Lizard on, which is Charizard in Japanese, um, and then I'm going to import this here. Do I want to import this? Yes, and it's going to replace that. So now once it's here, I'm going to hit Control S to save and close that off. And so now, when I start the game up, hopefully everything should just load normally. Um, otherwise, there's been an error, and I'll have to redo this tutorial, which would not be very good. Um, these settings I go by are pretty solid, so there should be no um, And this is just my testing file, don't worry about that. So I'm going to go to the, get this one here. Time and finish, so I'm going to it up. And then let's load Dreamland. And now you can see I've got Charizard inside the game here. Um, he's got his hat and it moves with his body correctly. Um, because he's just using a headphone. Um, and that's all that there really is to it. Um, any other steps besides this are just semantics or specifics that you're going to have on a case to case basis. But as far as the process of, oh, I want to edit models inside of Brawl and I don't know how, this is all that you really ever need to do. Um, so, I hope that this tutorial helps some guys get started in the modeling world. Um, if you're looking for some tutorials in modeling itself, look up 3ds Max Basics, uh, get that covered, they're free online, and then from there I'd look up um, game modeling tutorials in, th in 3ds Max. Um, because Brawl is a pretty uh, low poly game, it's a very good area to start in modding, and um, I wish you all the best. I hope this tutorial helped. Thanks.